stuff who don't have this. Okay. Always passionate, I'd like to make an announcement. All of you who have cell phones, would you please turn them off? <laughs> this is two phones. We have these two sent a lot of fruit to Manaus. There are easily 10 species in just this little area here. So you can imagine, you can imagine this piece and another 10 times as many like this producing uh, these products. Uh, uh, seringa, uh, Rubber is the principal uh, 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 one. Or, or, uh, cacao. And cacao. Uh, uh, chocolate. chocolate production. Cacao. And it didn't go out by the main road, it only all went out by, by river. Okay, so rubber and, and cacao dropped in price at about the same time. And so there was more pressure to put the other kinds of uh, uh, crops uh, to encroach the uh, uh, this production area here, but he's not going to he's not going to cut the trees just to use the more fertile mm -hmm. soil for the other crops.
First he's going to locate us here and tell us where we are and, and, and the relationship to what we're going to see. Amazonas. We're on the left bank of the Solomons River. Eight hectares. There are 208 hectares in this particular area for Embrapa. Of which there are three strips of terra preta. Uma com 12, outra com 8, outra com 3 hectares. One of 12, one of 8, and one of 3 hectares. Perfis de solo. We're going to go see four profiles. There are three principal objectives of the project. The, the first objective is to do a detailed multidisciplinary study in these three bands of terra preta. It's well organized and, and coordinated. They'll do a, a general survey and then specific uh, uh, sampling on, on a grid that's 50 by 50 meters in, in, the, in, the, in the strip of 12 hectares. It sure has a wonderful smell. Sure looks a little different than this over here. You know, the thing that strikes me. And try to crush it with your fingers. Hard. Yeah, much harder. Much denser, yeah. Now if you're a root, try to grow through that. Yeah. Mm. It's also much deeper though, right? And this is I love that smell. Yeah. I'll crush that one. Much happier. Okay. Do you want me to try moving into the sun? Try, no, no, you did great, Grant. Okay, so very small scale of pilot. <laughs> it's a blur, but then you get these these deeper pockets in some areas, um, just because they did earthworks there. Uh, but um, I, I guess the the fact that this has still artifacts in it would suggest that these are still habitational sites. So those, those two, it is photo. Um, <laughs> Legume intercrop would be scavenged by which other people? Uh, I am explaining the, the sheep chief uh, project, yeah, because they were asking what would I do there. Um, if an animal pulled some topsoil down in there. I see. Mm. Mm. So this is no mistake. Mm. Although they have the iron in there, so the rest is probably, there's probably not. Shot proof. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Right, luckily the ground is kind of wet down there, so it's a little soft. The ponderance of legumes and early stages of succession that do nitrogen fixation and then later on they either switch off. Um, there's a lot of nitrogen in, in, the, um, in the later successional and primary forests. We, we found in the soil. Uh, nitrate, we found, we dig up, dug up down to eight meters um, and we, in the secondary, in eight year old secondary forest, and we found more nitrate nitrogen up to eight meters than 
nitrogen in the above ground biomass. Um, there's a lot of nitrate, not in the first 50 centimeters, but especially between three and six meters deep. Um, it's hanging down there. This is very acid. Has huge amounts of so anion once exchange it, once it capacity. Below the the root zone, the root zone. then it's retained. Right, and and then our theory was that a growing primary forest can send down roots um, and explore that that reserve. That reserve. Um, there is actually more movement than uh, than what would explain the bulge.